Kalispera uh, says, Michael Savas. Um, I'm a senior at San Diego State University. Um, I would first like to thank the American Hellenic Institute, specifically Mr. Nick Ledigakis, um, for inviting Joe and me to speak at this forum. Um, I am honored and thankful uh, that young Greek Americans have been invited to speak and express their thoughts and experiences. I feel the demographics of the Greek American community are drastically changing, and I feel this conference is a great way to discuss issues that are pertinent to our community. A short background of my Greek heritage. I'm a first generation Greek American. My father was born in Athens and my mother in Levithi in the Peloponnesos. My parents have told me about their struggles and challenges they faced when coming to the United States and when they moved to Illinois. My parents have stressed hard work and accountability, and thereby I have learned not to take for granted the opportunities that I have today. Um, from an early age, besides my Greek Orthodox faith, I was very conscious of my Greek heritage. I am thankful that I attended Greek school since my parents placed as much emphasis on my Greek heritage as they did my Greek Orthodox faith. But today I am here inspired because of the experiences and knowledge I gained while studying in Greece and Cyprus this past summer. My father, who all of his life has kept up with events in Greece, informs me that Greece these days has few honest friends and few honest reasons for rejoicing. Therefore, it is necessary for those of us who are truly Greek to commit ourselves to, de to defend and help our mother country. For example, there are 72 million Turks and only 11 million Greeks. So in my opinion, I feel as many as possible of the 11 million should stand up for the interests of Greece and the, um, the interests of Greece to counteract the Turkish numbers and the galloping Turkish propaganda machine. As I have become better informed regarding issues Hellenic, I realize that it is my obligation to advocate and do my small part to make a difference for the Greek American community. It has been frustrating to me, and I'm sure the rest of you, to see my country, the USA, being a passive accomplice to the illegal occupation of Cyprus by a NATO ally. For 37 years now, the Cyprus issue has been brushed aside, especially recently, since Washington has more immediate problems like Iraq, Afghanistan, and the economy. So the Cyprus, the Cyprus injustice fasters, and the Turks, it seems, have entrenched themselves for a long stay. Thanks to both AHEPA's Journey to Greece program and, and the American Hellenic Institute Foundation's foreign policies trip to Greece and Cyprus, I learned about my culture and the important issues that the Greek American community face. The experience were invaluable in making me want to learn more about my heritage, the issues surrounding Hellenism, and compelled me to ultimately try and make a difference. Um, it was painful for me, and I'm sure my pe peers, to walk the streets of Famagusta in the occupied area of Cyprus and to see desecrated churches, mutilated cemeteries, and abandoned homes. As a personal commitment in rectifying the injustice done to Cyprus, I have published an article in my school newspaper with the readership of 45,000 where I expressed my opposition to San Diego State sponsoring a study abroad program to the so-called Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. I have not only through formal means tried to educate my peers about Hellenism, but also informally in my small circle of friends. For example, when a few friends and I heard a Jennifer Lopez song played on the radio, we then had a conversation where I explained how I felt she's not only talented but compassionate. I shared how she showed understanding as she declined a big paycheck to do what was right, even though the Cyprus issue did not directly affect her. I then was able to continue and explain how she refused to perform in the so-called Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus and through her actions did not recognize the illegally occupied area as a country. Many of my friends are also big tennis fans. This summer, when the Cypriot tennis player, Marcos Bagdadis, defeated the number one player in the world, Rafael Nadal, I used this monumental accomplishment as an icebreaker to discuss the Cyprus issue. By finding ways to discuss issues that are relevant to Greece and Cyprus, I have been able to educate my peers, my peers about issues relevant to the Hellenic community. Some of you may have not realized that the solution to the Cyprus problem ultimately ultimately depends not on Turkish or Greek Cypriots, but in Ankara. 
As Cyprus Foreign Minister Marcos Kiprianos has said, given the fact that in any negotiations, Turkey, itse Turkey itself is the power behind any solution, it is important for the U.S. to encourage Turkey to be as constructive and positive as possible. So any influence and encouragement the U.S. can put on Turkey would be very helpful. The article that I published is a beginning that was inspired by AHEPA and the American Hellenic Institute Foundation, specifically individuals like Dr. Jim Dimitrio and Mr. Nick Ledigakis. Thank you once again for the opportunity to speak here.